इमेजिन दिस सीन समवेयर नियर द फ्रंट लाइन रात के अंधेरे में हेलीकॉप्टर उतर रहा है इन साइड अ सोल्जर फाइटिंग फॉर हिज लाइफ वुंडेड बट अ लाइफ विद इन मिनट्स अ फॉरवर्ड सर्जिकल टीम सेट्स अप अ मोबाइल ऑपरेशन थिएटर रात के सन्नाटे में अगर कानों में कुछ गूंज रही है तो उस सैनिक के कराहने की आवाज और उस वेंटिलेटर की आवाज अ ट्रामा सर्जन वर्क्स इन साइलेंस एंड अ टेलीमेडिसिन लिंक कनेक्ट्स द फील्ड टू द स्पेशलिस्ट इन टेली दिस इज हाउ द आर्म फोर्सेस मेडिकल सर्विसेज वर्क ऑन ग्राउंड अ सिस्टम वेयर एवरी सेकेंड काउंट्स वेयर एवरी हार्ट बीट मैटर्स एंड वेयर टेक्नोलॉजी मीट्स डिटर्मिनेशन मेरी बात को बहुत ध्यान से सुनिएगा देखिए अगर बात हो एक्सट्रीम वेदर सिचुएशंस में काम करने की या फिर ऑपरेशंस के दौरान देश के लिए लड़ रहे हमारे फौजियों को हेल्थ केयर फैसिलिटीज देने की बॉर्डर आउटपोस्ट और रिमोट फॉरवर्ड एरियाज हों या फिर नेवल शिप्स और एयरबेसिस हों आर्म फोर्सेस मेडिकल सर्विसेज हर जगह एक अदृश्य ढाल की तरह खड़ी है रैपिड इवैक्यूएशन और लाइफ सेविंग केयर तुरंत उपलब्ध होती है और प्रिवेंटिव हेल्थ मेजर्स हर कदम पर सुनिश्चित किए जाते हैं एंड एट द हेल्प ऑफ दिस इनक्रेडिबल फोर्स इज अ लीडर हु इज रीडिफाइनिंग मिलिट्री मेडिसिन सर्जन वाइस एडमिरल आर पी सरी द फर्स्ट वुमेन टू लीड द आर्म फोर्सेस मेडिकल सर्विसेज यू मे कॉल इट अ जर्नी ऑफ ब्रेकिंग बैरियर्स बट आई फील इट इज ऑल्सो अबाउट बिल्डिंग ब्रिजेस बिटवीन कंपैशन एंड करेज साइंस एंड सर्विस नमस्कार आप सुन रहे हैं डायरेक्टरेट ऑफ पब्लिक रिलेशंस मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ डिफेंस का पॉडकास्ट रक्षा सूत्र और मैं हूं आपकी सूत्रधार शैलजा लेडीज एंड जेंटलमैन प्लीज वेलकम विद मी आर गेस्ट टुडे सर्जन वाइस एडमिरल आरती सरीन मैम आई एम वेरी श्योर टुडे आर लिसनर्स आर गोइंग टू हैव अ मोर इन डेप्थ नॉलेज अबाउट द रोल्स एंड रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटीज ऑफ ए एफ एम एस अलॉन्ग विद वॉट एल हैपन्स बिहाइंड द सीन्स Welcome ma'am. Thank you. Ma'am, you have the distinction of being the first women officer to assume the prestigious position of Director General of AFMS, a role that carries immense responsibility and legacy. It's not just a historic milestone for you personally but also a proud moment for the entire Armed Forces fraternity. When you took charge on 1st of October 2024, it must have been a very special moment breaking yet another glass ceiling and stepping into a role that defines the future of military medicines in India aapne jab ye padbhar sambhala jab aap us khaas kursi par baithi jis par bahut si zimmedariyon ke sath sath bahut sare logon ki ummeedein bhi judi hui hain tab aapke mann mein kya chal raha tha ma'am and beyond that personal milestone what are your top priorities now for the afms especially as it evolves to meet the demands of modern multi domain warfare and the rapidly changing medical landscape thank you thank you once again taking over as the first woman dgfms last october has been both an honor as well as a huge responsibility the appointment has represented not just a personal achievement but it also reflects the government and the indian armed forces commitment to gender equality and merit based leadership my priorities have been focused on several key areas some of them being you know enhancing medical readiness for multi domain warfare which is our primary responsibility also strengthening what is now new in medicine basically having a good digital in you know health infrastructure telemedicine facilities to be able to reach out to people in remote areas and ensuring that our medical personnel are equipped with cutting edge skills and technology and training to be able to handle complex operational scenarios in this very very uncertain geopolitical landscape indeed ma'am it is incredible to imagine those forward surgical teams working under such immense pressure equipped with portable operation theaters and life saving systems all operating in perfect sync in the middle of the mission but that kind of efficiency does not come overnight it takes years of technological evolution and redefined medical protocols to make it possible so ma'am how has afms evolved its medical technologies and treatment protocols in recent years particularly for high intensity operations we've made significant strides in several areas our uh, telemedicine network now covers most of our remote border posts 
This enables us to have a very real-time consultations of the junior doctors with specialists in larger hospitals. We have integrated artificial intelligence powered diagnostic tools that can function in field conditions. Our trauma care protocols have been enhanced with advanced resuscitation techniques and rapid blood supplies to various places. We are also looking at having logistic drones assist us in this particular area to either deliver blood or to deliver medicines to a remote area. And during many ops, our medical teams are deployed with a lot of new point of care, portable devices like ventilators and various kinds of, you know, hemostatic agents, and newer med techniques to control blood and hemorrhage, and also training protocols, which are now keeping up with the times and, and very advanced and to also looking at real-time patient monitoring systems that will transmit vital data even in the electronic warfare environments. Right, ma'am. And adding to the same line of thought, I would also want to know what role does preventive medicine plays in maintaining force readiness, especially in challenging operational environments? Preventive medicine is a very, very important subject. It is the cornerstone of operational readiness. The government of India, as well as governments all over the world, are also stressing upon primary health care, which is kind of reflects preventive health care, where prevention is always better than cure. So even in this case, we've implemented comprehensive health surveillance systems that protect our troops from the beginning. We protect their health. We protect the troops as well as the communities from, you know, getting disease. We monitor them for disease. We advise them on various issues regarding their health. We check them every year with the basic aim that we also always have to have a very, very fighting fit force and people who are not well, our responsibility is to get them well soon and back to being fighting fit. So we look at that, we look at their nutrition, we look at their various programs. We now are also stressing upon holistic health as well as wellness to both the troops as well as their families and the veterans. Indeed, very inspiring, ma'am. Aapki is baat se actually hum sabhi reassured hain ki AFM is sirf ilaj par hi nahi, balki prevention aur preparedness par bhi pura dhyan de raha hai. I know lots of efforts goes behind predicting and preventions, but ma'am, yudh ke madan mein halat kabhi bhi badal sakte hain. Jab koi emergency aati hai, to har second halat badal rahe hote hain aur wahaan par zindagi aur maut ke beech medical evacuation ek race ban jati hai. I think our listeners can imagine that how important it become to evacuate the soldiers at such terrific situation. To aise panic ki situation mein AFMS kaise kaam karta hai? Medical evacuation or casualty management systems ko ensure karne ke liye AFMS kaise kaam kar raha hai so that no matter where the soldier is they get timely and advanced medical support. Our medical casualty evacuation system has been completely transformed. We now operate dedicated air ambulance services with advanced life support on board. Our casualty evacuation helicopters are equipped with mini ICU facilities and we've established rapid response medical teams that can be deployed within minutes to any operational area. And this way we have reduced the time of evacuation almost by 40% till recently. Right, ma'am. Also, adding to the same question, I would also like to ask what innovations has AFMS introduced in battlefield medicine and trauma care? Innovations is the need of the hour. In every branch of science, technology or wherever it is, we have to have innovations to be moving on and be progressive. So there are several innovations being thought of in battlefield medicine too. And our forward medical teams, now they carry very advanced uh, agents that can help them to control hemorrhage, like we just said, we've developed lightweight solar powered medical equipment, which is suitable for extended field operations. And our trauma surgeons are trained in damage control surgical techniques that will help us provide prolonged casualty care at the point of injury. And we've also introduced drone based medical supply delivery systems that can reach isolated posts or evacuation sites, like I just said. It's fascinating to hear all this, ma'am. With such cutting-edge innovations across the Army, Navy and Air Force, how does AFMS ensures that medical standards remain consistent across all three services while still allowing them to work seamlessly together? We are a tri-service organization and we've standardized medical protocols across all the three services while maintaining specific service-specific expertise. We also treat 
patients who belong to all the three services all over the country we have which is distributed among the army navy and the air force hospitals and our joint medical training programs ensure that an army medic can seamlessly support air force operations or naval operations and vice versa and he can seamlessly move from one service to the other sometimes in the same uniform or sometimes can change the uniform we've established common medical databases that allow real time sharing of patient information across the services and our equipment procurement follows joint standards we ensure compatibility during combined operations where all the three services always work together and we are a tri service organization in jointness we are the epitome of jointness right ma'am and building on that can you tell us what steps afms has taken to address the healthcare needs of military families and veterans we've expanded our um, healthcare network like i just said a little while earlier to better serve even the military families through enhanced facilities at our command hospitals enhanced specialist and super specialist services we are now looking at taking forward the sehat telemedicine platform to extend healthcare across families in remote postings and for veterans we've established specialized geriatric care programs we are also have been successful in establishing early intervention centers all across the armed forces medical services for for children who are, have got neurodevelopmental disorders and that has been extremely helpful in helping these children in their healthcare and in in improving their situation some of them even getting back into schools and education it has been a great morale booster to the parents a lot of support to them and has also helped in hr because having centers across all over the country we are now able to post them to locations apart from the metro cities so this has been uh, our contribution we also have a lot of maternal and child healthcare facilities that we extend the antenatal care is of the best standard in the world where uh, you know where a lady is looked after during her pregnancy as well as her the way her child is looked after in terms of uh, neonatal care vaccination and we uh, we have a lot of community health programs we have what we call the iec programs where we go out into the community and we teach them how to look after themselves in terms of their health prevention nutrition as well as in child care we offer a lot of child care support the various organizations like the army wives welfare association the naval wives welfare association and the air force wives welfare association all participate and are of a great assistance to us in extending this community healthcare to all our patient and the families and the veterans right ma'am and before we conclude this episode what message would you like to convey to the medical personnel serving across the three services to our dedicated medical personnel serving from siachen to the high seas i wish to emphasize that you are the guardians of our most precious asset the lives of our warriors your role extends beyond treating the wounded you are the force multipliers who ensure operational readiness and various operations demonstrate that modern warfare requires not just brave soldiers but also skilled medical professionals who can operate along with them and care for them under fire in the most challenging environments you must continue to innovate train relentlessly and remember that your expertise directly contributes to national security and there's one more supplementary question ma'am looking ahead what is your vision for afms in the coming years my vision is to transform afms into a world class military medical system that seamlessly blends advanced technology with human expertise we aim to achieve complete medical self reliance we also intend to do a lot of international cooperation in research and development and also in training of various paramedicals and medicals from friendly foreign countries and by 2030 i envision the armed forces medical services having medical capabilities that can support extended operations while maintaining the highest standards of medical care that our brave service members deserve we've also got our vision document which has aligned itself to the viksit bharat 2047 which our prime minister has envisioned for the country It has been an absolute privilege having Surgeon Vice Admiral Aarti Sareen ma'am today. Her insights into military medicine, operational readiness and behind the scenes along with care for our forces and their families have been truly inspiring. 
थैंक यू सो मच मैम फॉर टेकिंग द टाइम टू जॉइन अस एंड शेयर योर एक्सपीरियंसेस ऑन रक्षा सूत्र थैंक यू फॉर हैविंग मी ऑन द रक्षा सूत्र पॉडकास्ट फ्रेंड्स इन दिस एपिसोड वी एक्सप्लोर्ड हाउ द आर्म फोर्स ऑफ मेडिकल सर्विसेज आर ट्रांसफॉर्मिंग मिलिट्री मेडिसिन under the leadership of surgeon vice admiral rt sareen director general of armed forces medical services is not just saving lives it's shaping the future of battlefield healthcare kaise hamari sena ke doctors sirf ilaaj nahi karte balki har operation nahi yahan main us wale operation ki baat nahi kar rahi hu jo operation theater mein kiya jata hai balki wo operation jo bharat ki taraf aankh uthane wale dushmanon ki tabiyat durust karne ke liye bharti sena karti hai उन ऑपरेशंस में एएफएमएस एक सुरक्षा कवच की तरह हमारी फौज के साथ उनका हिस्सा बनकर खड़े रहते हैं बात करें पीस टाइम की तो उसमें भी एएफएमएस हर मोर्चे पर तैयार है नई टेक्नोलॉजी नई सोच और अटूट समर्पण के साथ वी कैन डेफिनेटली से दैट स्ट्रेंथ स्ट्रेटजी एंड सर्विस एट इट्स फाइनेस्ट यही है हमारी सशस्त्र सेनाओं की चिकित्सा सेवाओं की असली पहचान जहाँ एक तरफ करेज के साथ कम्पैशन यानी करुणा है तो दूसरी तरफ ड्यूटी यानी फर्ज के साथ इनोवेशंस भी हैं। लेडीज एंड जेंटलमैन दिस वॉज रक्षा सूत्र ब्रिंगिंग यू स्टोरीज ऑफ करेज केयर एंड द स्पिरिट दैट सेव गार्ड्स आर नेशन अंटिल नेक्स्ट टाइम दिस इज मी शेल्जा साइनिंग ऑफ धन्यवाद जय हिंद